Ain't no stop it till the tire's spinning. Resuscitate the rod, it's the nursing garage. 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 What's up, guys? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today, guys, on this episode of <coughs> Preparing for Rocky Mountain Race Week, if you guys don't know, we are getting the Honda Chevy ready for Rocky Mountain Race Week. In the meantime, nonetheless, I had to get this Honda K24A2 ready for uh, Rocky Mountain Race Week, or for actually just for whatever we do it. Also, uh, yeah, guys, you guys have been following. You guys know that this engine is hurt. We hurt cylinder three on this one and four on the other. We have both motors actually here, if you guys don't know that. So what we're actually gonna do, guys, I'm gonna let Kyle actually take over from here. This is my buddy Kyle, you guys seen him on the channel before. So he's actually gonna go ahead and start the teardown on this motor, see exactly what happened and what went wrong. And yeah, I'm just gonna go from there, so go ahead, bud. All right, guys, so I'm gonna start disassembling the motor. We're gonna start with just pulling the intake and the manifolds off and then get the belt off and just start getting everything off the outside so we can pull it all apart and then tear into it. So just all, all that oil coming out of cylinder three broken ring wind or piston so what he's trying to say guys or what he's suggesting is like there's a ton of oil or yeah let me just bring you guys a cylinder three so cylinder three has nothing but oil in it so suggesting either broken piston melted hole in a piston or a broken ring land most likely broken ring land but we'll know honestly here shortly so um if it's broken piston ring gland that means maybe the engine was tired if we put a hole in it maybe got some bad fuel so let's just uh get back to the teardown we just want to show you guys kind of what you're looking not what you're looking for but what we noticed and uh that's not good that's not good at all but good thing we got a bunch of goodies for this and i'll put them in front of this thing and make a pretty little picture for you guys because we got some sick stuff for this thing so it's coming back a hundred times better regardless are you living or dying have you been working or lying have you been cooking or dying you be the one that's deciding never been scared to dive in i rule these waters beside i've been the one that's been guiding myself wherever i'm riding am i coding or writing or am i just simply rhyming i'm all inside my my mind and i'm finding gold and dividing i swear my soul must be diamond the way my aura be shining i know you low-key be vibing i read your mind like i'm signing I quit with the one and now it feels like I'm straight flying. I see you see me designing my future. Meanwhile, you crying. I kind of just discovered something, guys. So you see this port right here? I was kind of leaking water out of it, and I didn't know why. And then if you come to the manifold, for some reason, the gasket hangs over. You can see daylight through the gasket. So it's almost like this manifold was not long enough. So we might have to have our buddy Matt weld onto here and then we'll make it flat. We're going to have to talk to him, see what he thinks. Um, but, or we could just fill that hole inside the block on the head because it's not going to be used regardless. Yep, it's blocked off. It's blocked off either way. So that might be our safer route is we just weld inside the head. See, but then I told you that circulation doesn't matter. It still circulates through this one. Okay. So we might, I'm going to talk with Matt and see you guys. That's just a weird, weird thing. I'm going to call K-Pro and see if, K-Power and see if there's something that we missed or maybe a special gasket or kind of what transpired into that. So that's not good because you can see literally the marking on the, on where it's supposed to be. So see how it cuts off right here. So, oh, not good, but, uh, Oh well, whatever, what can you do? So, keep on? Keep on, keep on. Big blessings, big blessings, got a big crow. Big blessings, big blessings, I said big moves. Big blessings, big blessings, got a big crow. Big blessings, big blessings, hey. Man on the mission, 2020 tunnel vision. Rappers be like, you should stop. Yeah, I know that job ain't wishing. Alright, guys. 
So we got the pan taken off and it looks like we may have found our problem here. Looks like we got a couple of pieces of piston ring, it looks like maybe right there, maybe the ring land. And then the rest of the aluminum dust that came from the piston. So we're gonna take it apart and look a little further into it and see exactly what happened. studs out, we've got the cams and everything out already. Tell the people what we're doing here. Uh, so these guys, they have these two, I don't even know what you want to call them, pins in here. And you see how this pushes out like that? Yeah. So what you do is you zip tie these, I guess they're really rockers. Yep, rocker arms. So you're gonna zip tie the rockers together, guys, so they keep them like that in unison. So when you put this actually back in there, they go together as a whole. So that's pretty much what I'm doing right now. So I don't mess any of them up. So essentially, this is something anybody that's messing with a case here should need to know, huh? Yeah, so that way we can um, see how it's pushing it off. If you zip tie them, they stay together and the rockers stay as unison. Um, but. You kind of want to do this in the head. You could do this either or. We got real fortunate that we didn't lose one of these little things because them dials pop out and they kind of go places. But just future reference. And just one of them tricks you need to know. Yeah, absolutely. All right, moment of truth. The suspense is killing me. Looks okay. Yeah. Bro, that looked beat. It looked like it had carbon on it, buddy. No, oh, run your finger across that. Yeah, it's carbon. Look, it's lifted uh, up off of the valve. Okay. I promise you. Melted. Right down the side of it. You can see the you see the missing part of the piston? So it torched that piston. All right, put it up to top dead. Let's see exactly. It is on top dead. All right, put it up to. <sighs> so you can tell, like, the edge of this one's completely circle, and that one is opaled out right there. So that essentially tells you that the, the flame went down next to the piston and then in between the rings. So the ring gap was probably essentially right there somewhere. Okay, so good news is the block's good the so block's far. Good. So far, block's looking good. I can't feel nothing with my fingernail in here, so. Bad news is we torched the piston. Did anyone else look like they're getting hot? None of the other ones got hot enough to melt, but. So we'll pull that one out, guys, and I'm sure the whole side of it is probably gone, huh? It's probably pretty melted, yeah. Pretty melted, so. We'll flip it on over, pull the bit, pull the pull the pistons out and then kind of go from there. But good news is the head looks fine, so we'll be able to use the head, clean up the valve real good, and then kind of go from there. Bearing's looking all right. So this is number three, guys. We're on the bottom end now. Bearings look really good. Nothing too bad there. I'm gonna grab another piece of cardboard so we can put these out on. Yeah, them look fine. No heat to them at all. What did Kyle say? Melted. So. It cracked it too. Cracked and melted. All 
All right, boys. Well, that's our corporate. At least it's something uh, simple ish. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and keep tearing it down. Happy I found out finally what the problem was. So uh, bummer things happen like that. Uh, remember, this was a junkyard motor. I didn't do any testing on this motor before. I just threw it in there. So we're going to uh, keep checking on them, make sure the rest are okay. And then we'll catch up with you guys. So yeah, guys, what a freaking bummer that is. So, I'll see you guys in a few. All right, guys, just pulled out. Sorry, I meant to get you guys going out, but we uh, cracked another. Another. So that must have been the parts we were actually getting from the bottom of the pan. Yep, those are the ring glands we found. So two broken ring glands. Wow. Uh, yeah, so I'm not, I'm going to keep videoing because I, I think we'll probably, sorry, I got oil on you. I'll keep videoing because I think we'll probably have, wait, that's three and four, huh? That's, yep, the two centers. Two, oh, these are two centers? Yep. Oh, no. So that's, yeah, so two and three. But we can't even build a motor at this point. Sure we can. We can't build a spare. Sure we can. We need one more good one. Well, if there's two good ones in there and two good ones in there. That's what I'm saying. But we need another good, hopefully find a good. All right. Hopefully, hopefully we see, find good news after this. Yeah, one. I need a good piston to make a spare motor. At this point, though, it's looking like we're not going to have a spare motor. What were you doing? Huh? What, were, what were you going I for? I was going to send it back. Here. Hold on. I got to put them. Give me my box is almost ready. I know. All righty, guys. So we found our corporates. It's number two and three. We have a couple parts we're waiting on to rebuild this motor. In the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and clean it. Kyle, is there anything else you wanna note? Any problems you've seen? How the mains look? Mains look pretty good for 130,000 plus miles on them. So get a new bearings in them, get a new pump. And everything should be set with new, new utensils. Yeah. Get it going good. So unfortunately guys, that sucks. We do have two good pistons I think that we're gonna be able to use. Uh, I'm going to throw them, we're going to try to make a spare motor if we have time before Rocky Mountain Race Week and kind of go from there. And then we have our valves and retainers for the head. We got to get cleaned up. We're not getting using this pump. We're using Type S. Cams looked good. There was really no other big issues. So that's just a real bummer how that thing's kind of happened. But it's part of the game. So we learned our lesson. We're going E85 for life now. Um... That's kind of it. Anything you want to note or add, Kai? We're going to be way better than we were. That's it. So, yeah, guys, that's going to go ahead and do it for today's YouTube video. I hope you guys like the thrash of us tearing this part. Part two, we're going to be assembling this motor of this video and kind of just go from there, guys, and figure out what's going on. But at least we figured out why we lost the motor. So, learned our lesson. A uh, big lesson to be learned, but. I'll be back. We'll be back better. And we got nothing but good parts going this. So it's nothing but positivity, guys. So yeah, guys, I'll see you guys later.